Here we will open and start a keyless start Tesla Model X with a dead battery in the key fob. The entry process in the Model X is unique, although the start process in the Model S should be the same. Overall, the open and start processes will take some patience, so take a deep breath. There is no mechanical key or keyhole available in this car. We will need to rely on a recognition process to get inside that is similar to that used to start most push-button start cars. Walking up and trying to open a door fails. The door handles do not normally extend on the Model X on approach. Place the back of the key fob on the car's body just below the front of the rear door. We tried the handle, but this was unnecessary. In a few moments, the mirrors extended, signaling that the key fob had been recognized and we had access. It worked on the first try for us, but note here that the owner's manual suggests that if it does not, reposition the key fob slightly to try again. Remember that it took several seconds for the car to recognize the fob. If new positions are unsuccessful, take the battery out of the fob and start the process over. This will become important as we start the car. The instrument panel is activated by unlocking the car and immediately shows the message, key not inside. In general, the key fob needs to be placed in the proximity of the front of the center console in order to be recognized by the car. The owner's manual gives multiple spots and methods to try, and like the unlock process, it will take several seconds for the car to recognize the fob. Once it does, the key not inside message will disappear. There are three basic locations to try. The first is to simply drop the fob into the cup holder. If this fails, hold the key fob against the front of the center console, as we are doing here. There are several places that can be tried in this case alone. The third is to place the fob below the 12 volt outlet near the bottom of the console, as shown. If all these fail, the next recommendation is to remove the battery from the fob and run through the options again, and this is exactly what we had to do with our Model X. Ultimately, we landed at the base of the console before the car recognized the fob. The sound is that of the key being placed in that location. And the key not inside message is now gone. And here is the final fob location. To remove the battery from the fob, you will need a small thin blade to slip into the opening near the lanyard connection as shown. Carefully pry the back from the fob. The blade will be needed to get beneath the battery as well. Finally, the act of removing the battery from the fob will disable the automatic lock function. So once you have a new battery installed, go to your settings to restore it. It will show as on, so turn it off and back on again to reset. And that's it. You're ready to go. Don't forget to get those new batteries for your fobs. For help with other keyless or push-button start cars with dead key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube or go to dashboardsymbols.com.